If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, guys, so we just finished the review for Marquez. Um, so now we're going to go check out the evolution. Uh, this evolution, guys, is uh, EA's way of schkaneefing the peoples. Schkaneefing, okay? Because the cards have 99 shooting. If you decided to use your earlier evolutions on specific players, you're kind of cooked, okay? Because some of these evolutions that currently exist, you could have made them into absolute monsters, okay? Jack of all trades still exists. We have to mention this because there's some crazy options you can go with with this, okay? Because these ones are paid evolutions, but for some of these cards, if you actually upgrade them to this point, it's kind of crazy, okay? So, the Club 99 shooting is literally what it's saying. It's a card that you are improving to actually have perfect shooting, which is insane, right? In-game attributes, you get chip shot as well as Trivella as well as finesse shot plus and power shot so i mean guys listen the price it's one of those uh, evolutions you pay for but it's kind of worth paying for like you, you get a lot of really really crazy stuff guys if you have done some of these evolutions in advance you're cooked okay we have to mention this because there are some cards that will exist because of this club 99 shooting that really puts these cards in a way better position when it comes to meta okay so a couple cards that we see here right we got rodrigo as the first one so if you have a rare gold rodrigo right who is gonna be extinct on the market because of the 99 shooting if you have a rare gold rodrigo and you put him into club 99 shooting and then you put him into birthday magic 2 you have a five star four star player who has some pretty insane play styles to work with, right? As well as just a decent card in general because his shooting is really, really improved, right? So you get to this version right here, you get the massive shooting improvements, right? You don't necessarily have to touch it. So you can kind of go in other directions, which is a huge plus because with this version existing now, right? This evolution, you could technically go in the route of giving him an engine chemistry style, right? To boost his pace, to boost his dribbling, and to boost his passing. Uh, because you guys know how dribbling is in this game. You want to kind of improve that as much as possible, which you do with the engine. Then you can also go in the direction of, you know, giving him a catalyst. Because the catalyst would give him a really, really good um, passing boost while you still give him... Where is it? Am I blind? While you still give him the boost in the other areas, I'm actually blind. Oh my goodness, man. I just lost it right there. Uh, but yeah, passing being improved as well as the pace puts those sort of things in a good area. But for me, guys, you guys know how it is. The dribbling, I feel like you kind of want to improve as much as possible, right? And mid 90s for pace is not in a bad area. It would it be more ideal to have it as close to perfect as possible, especially with the way this game plays out nowadays. Yeah, but... I mean, listen, man, birthday magic, birthday magic is a free evolution. And then you get 75K for this Rodrigo. It's like getting a 75K SBC. That's what it kind of is. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of cooking. It's kind of cooking, right? Uh, we have a few other options here, like Philippe Anderson. So if you had this version of his card, which probably going to be extinct on the market too. You guys know the vibes. Uh, if you had that version of his card, and then you put him into the Club 99 shooting, and then you put him into Birthday Magic, you will have a card that, again, is formatted very nicely, right? Probably a card that you could, I would say, potentially give a catalyst to as well, um, because his dribbling is kind of in a good area already. You don't necessarily need to improve that. Um, so catalyst to increase the passing capabilities as well as the pace to be as high as possible could definitely be a really ideal situation depending on um, how you view it. Because, I mean, technically speaking, guys, I'm not even kidding when I say this. <laughs> you could give him an anchor, you know? If you gave him an anchor, um, 
to boost his pace to be in a decent area. You give him extra defensive stuff, extra physical capabilities. His other stats are still in a pretty decent spot. So the reason why I'm saying this is because let's say you wanted to choose or you chose to use this card as your attacking oriented center mid or you chose to use him in the right mid position, but he's on comeback and defense. Having some defensive stats while working with a high, high work rate could be very nice, right? Finesse shot plus rapid plus also has some other very good play styles too. So the card is going to be extinct in the market for a reason, right? Joao Felix, another option as well. If you chose the Centurion Striker and you never did any... Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. You never did anything to the Centurion Striker because you obviously could have in the past, right? There's a bunch of stuff you could have put him into, right? But if you never did anything with that Centurion Striker, Joao Felix, and you chose other cards, for instance, here's an opportunity for you to get a Joao Felix that has perfect shooting while being able to, again, give him the engine chemistry style, right? To boost the pace, the passing, and the dribbling of the card while being a person that you were constantly improving from the evolution if you still had the Centurion Striker during that time period, right? So you get a pretty significantly better card, first touch plus, finesse shot plus, technical first touch, Trivella, rapid chip shot, power shot, a lot of crazy stuff to work with for the most part, right? So wouldn't be a bad option either if you were to go down that route. Uh, we have some players here that are trending for the sake of trending, right? Like, obviously, with Ronaldo, he gets perfect shooting. But at this point in the game, the dribbling and the pace is kind of like in the lower area. Could you technically give him a catalyst and make him work from there or an engine? Sure, absolutely, because the shooting being perfect is definitely very nice. But again, that's more for people that are just getting into the game and then hoping for uh, a further evolution in the future, right? You have a card like Rashford from the Rare Gold Improvement. Rare Gold to... Marcus Rashford on the club 99 shooting puts him in an area where with the shooting capabilities, I mean, he does have shooting play styles, right? Power shot plus and finesse shot plus definitely adds a lot to the card because again, you can kind of go in the direction of giving him an engine to boost the dribbling, to boost the pay, to passing. Uh, would you care as much about the dribbling if his shooting is in such a good spot? Probably not, right? So obviously a card to look into as well. There's a lot of uh, very drastic improvements for how he could potentially be in game as well. Um, you got Olise, who from the inform version into Club 99 shooting, again, puts him in an area where you don't necessarily have to give him an engine because his dribbling is in a good spot. Uh, you can kind of go in the direction of giving him, again, a catalyst chemistry style, making sure his passing um, is as good as possible, as well as his pace, right? The catalyst will boost the card to have very good pace, very good passing capabilities, excuse me, uh, but if you don't care about boosting the passing, because to be fair, it's already in a good spot, you could technically go with the shadow chemistry style route or the anchor, right? Because the anchor uh, would give him the physical boost as well. Considering this card is a taller player, right? Why is it always the, the card I'm looking for is the one that disappears on me? Anchor chemistry style does boost the physical, but the pace would be nice to kind of be in a higher area, right? Maybe a further evolution in the future, you can improve it even further, but the card's five star, five star, right? Good dribbling stats. He's six foot two, so you'll probably feel the physical element on the card, but in-game capabilities would probably be very nice to work with as well, right? Uh, Coman gets a card as well from Jack of All Trades. Obviously, he did have the SBC version, who did have the Rapid Plus as well as the... That's the pinged pass, right? Yeah, pinged pass plus. Uh, this card will have the finesse shot and the first touch. So in comparison to his SBC card, this is what we would be working with. So yet again, not a bad choice, right? If you have the rare gold version, you put them into club 99 shooting, you put them into jack of all trades, again, on an engine chemistry style, boosting the dribbling to be as high as possible, as well as the passing and, and pace, you get a pretty decent card. Now, reminder, that this card did get a work rate change, right? This card over here is a medium medium. So high medium is, uh, it's it's kind of nice to work with, right? I like this Coman card. Uh, dribbling does feel a certain way. Of course, uh, if I was being serious, I would want my every single player on my attack to have crazy left stick. But with Coman, obviously, it's a pretty good option if you want to go down that route as well, right? Um, we also have a couple of other options here. So Correa, so we've already done 
a career review earlier, but this one's going to be a little bit crazier. Let's be real, right? You know, having the Finesse Shop Plus with the first touch plus with the other play styles that he has with the fact that his dribbling is actually really good in game even though he's an average body type player and then you can give him the catalyst to work with a pretty insane card that let's be fair you can pretty much use in any of the attacking positions now right um this was from this card over here which is going to be extinct right so if you still had this card chilling in your club and you never did any of the evolutions previously you get a pretty crazy Correa card. 99 shooting on Correa is really, really nuts because Correa, obviously, fan favorite over here, but this card gets the five star, five star capability, right? Five star, five star is a really big deal in this game. Five star, five star with maximized shooting is pretty crazy, right? A lot of really, really nutty things to work with uh, when it comes to that. Um, Rashford has another one too from the rare gold upgrade. If we check out some of the popular evolution options, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a few different ones. I would say I think uh, for the trending ones, you always have to search for the chained evolutions, right? Um, chained evolutions is always gonna be the thing to look at the most, right? So it's always gonna be like these types of cards here that you see that are trending, um, lower rated cards that you can put into this evolution and basically turn them into absolute monsters, right? You're going to have some options here uh, from the regular upgrades to put them to a specific point as well. Um, I think the guy that did the thumbnail for me is probably going to put some of these guys on the main thing. So I have to mention that to him. You can also check out a website like uh, Easy SBC to see what chain devolutions that you currently have, right? So Yadam Chuk gets uh, a pretty significant upgrade as well, right? Five star, five star capabilities on that card. Um, Probably gonna have a few different options for sure, man. Like you, def you definitely have to look at some of the cards that you could potentially work with, right? So look at this one. If you had the Bonnie Face Player of the Month card, you could put him into it as well. Um, see what else we have here. So Correa obviously gonna be like a really big one because of the five star, five star capabilities. Club nine nine shooting into Jack of all trades puts him in a very solid spot. Rivaldinho, five star, five star Brazilian player, right? So that could be pretty cool too. Uh, Sentimental Value FC as well. Going to be winning with this evolution because there's going to be a few options there as well. Portuguese player, right? Club 99 shooting, jack of all trades, put him, puts him at, uh, puts him to a five star, five star capability. Uh, it's a strangely formatted card, but honestly, he would probably do really well in game, to be fair. All right, Correa, uh, Xerxes. Xerxes gets one as well. So Xerxes could be one to look into as well, because Xerxes as a physical type attacker is actually pretty crazy to work with, right? He was actually really cheap from that uh, that Future Stars during that time period, right? Um, yeah, Club 99 shooting Jack of all trades. Kulisevsky from the showdown, if you haven't done that one yet as well. It's kind of crazy how long you have to wait because you never know what types of cards they're going to be releasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's really, really nuts because they release some crazy, crazy cards afterwards. But um, yeah, make sure to check out some of the clubs or some of the players that you guys have in your clubs. You might have some options to work with that could be really nice. Like, if there's like fan favorites in your club that you just really, really like in your squad, you know, Kubo is a pretty good example for people that liked using that player of the month card with this card. Uh, you can kind of go down the direction of not necessarily giving him an engine, but again, you can kind of go and give him um, a catalyst as well because, you know, the dribbling you would just work with as it is in the 90s area for the important stuff. And then, you know, pace would be higher, passing would be higher. Japanese player that gives you those Liga Santander links, right? Or La Liga links would definitely be really cool too, right? So yeah, definitely a, a couple of different options here that are very nice to work with, to be fair. So definitely look into this evolution, guys, because there's going to be a lot of, lot of options, right? So if you go to Footbin, you'll see usually like the most popular choices at the very top for players that you have not uh, put into anything yet. And then there's obviously going to be the choices of, you know, some of the cards that, again, you have chill in your club, right? So make sure you look into your team, you know, sporting player over here, five star, five star. Like there's going to be a lot of, lot of meta options, guys. It's going to be a ton. Okay, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.